Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, guys? It's me, Third Division. And I am not British, even though I'm trying to be. <laughs> anyway, so we're back playing Minecraft. And if you look at the top left, and if you just pay a little attention to some of the things going on around us, you can see that not only do I have mods, but also a resource pack. So yeah, I downloaded a couple resource packs. I'd never really gotten into it, but if you can see on this right side, these are all the uh, ones I have right now. And uh, yeah, I never really got into resource packs. I don't know why. I didn't actually know that they were sometimes very, very specific as far as like, you know, specific items and uh, stuff. So I didn't really ever use them because I always thought they were like a like a blanket thing that changed everything about the game. But uh, yeah, I've messed with that. Also, I downloaded some mods, and we can just skip through these real quick on the right side. Give you a quick little idea of what's going on. Now, I have obviously gone through some items I've worked, I've grinded to get me some, you know, more advanced items, I should say. But what I want to do is just to start out this new, this new, uh, you know, this new chapter in this series is I, oh, also, I should probably check out, I don't know if I downloaded a tree block. No, I did not. Oh, no, that's a thing, okay. Yeah, this is gonna make getting wood a lot more, a lot easier. It's just, it's just a grindy element of the game. Yeah, so I have a tree chopper added, and also we have create, so we can, we're gonna be able to uh, make machines and all that stuff. But uh, like I was saying, even though I got distracted because I'm fucking, ADHD to the max. Uh, we're gonna be working on weapons and tools right now. Uh, so let me just get my train of thought correct. Let me just hit it with, uh, nope, actually, I need to make a mallet. So just one of these. We're gonna be messing with the Tetra mod. There we go. The Hollow Sphere. Yeah, so a lot of stuff. See, I was reluctant to do mods, but a lot of stuff got updated to 1.18 recently. So now that this is all straightened out, we can mess with the Tetra mod. So I have a bunch of tools, they're not tools, I have a bunch of resources in here. So I'm just going to place this down right here and turn this into a Tetra sort of thing. I don't even know, I don't even know what you call this. Yeah, so I don't think I can use my already, uh, my already changed items. Or my already enchanted items. So, just for temporary... Ooh, food. Okay, well, uh... Yeah, just for temporary, I'm just gonna toss all the things that are already enchanted. And we're just gonna work from scratch. Uh... Yeah, so I'm gonna need... Let me go ahead and make everything I need. I'm gonna need a new diamond sword. I'm going to need a new diamond shovel. And then probably, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh yeah, pickaxe. So yeah, those three items. And then I will be able to change them. Now I gotta remember, counterweight. Okay, do I have a piece of obsidian that I can use as a counterweight? Because if I remember correctly, that was a very important thing to use. Hmm. Yes, I don't want to change the blade to anything. Oh, if anything, I probably should make a better mallet. Because that's definitely going to be required in the future. So I'm just going to make your standard two wooden mallets. One of these I need to turn into stone and then iron, I believe. So... Yeah, it's been a... I'm, if I'm being honest, it's been a minute, guys, since I've played on the server. So I don't even know where stuff is do i have do i actually not have any stone where did i no i mm, i had some but where did i move it to or did i use it all oh guys i'm so stupid uh let me check i don't have the pickup mod no i can't pick up stuff god these villagers are loud uh yeah i'm a little stupid guys i forgot that well this is taking a long time I forgot that I had a whole storage area already built. Uh, yeah, well, eh, we'll take some diamonds, maybe some lapis, maybe some copper. I don't know if I'm going to need it. 
Yeah. And we're gonna head all the way over here to the uh, the start of our big base. Because that was just our temporary house. Oh, by the way, with the map. So this is where I spawned at in the very beginning, if you remember, in this uh, nice cold biome. And then I discovered this beautiful little island that I have connected with two bridges, one on the north side and one on the south side. But up here, this is where I want to put all of my farms. And then this is going to be kind of just like, a, I'm, I want to make a nice looking little home island. And this all here, this big island, that's going to be farms. And then inside this mountain over here, that's going to be this mountain right here. This is going to be, what is that? Oh. Is that loud for you guys? I feel like it might be loud. Uh, but yeah. Oh, watch this. Watch this, watch this. I had uh, another mod. Yep. There is now splashing animations for items and entities. God. This waterfall is loud. It's cool, though. I like that it makes sound. But yeah, watch. If I toss this, it actually makes a splash. Yeah. So, yeah, let me go over here. Hopefully, I don't have to listen to it anymore. Yeah, I've, I kind of messed with some uh, settings for my recording and for my audio, so some stuff might not look good. Here we go. Yeah, so let's toss all this over here for now. Let me get a bunch of steak. And, yeah. Ooh, leather. I'm definitely gonna need leather. Uh, I don't know if it matters what kind of stone, so... Stone. Hmm. Yeah, I also know the different kind of wood you make the handle out of could also affect it. But we're just gonna have to go with this for now. Oh yeah, wait, what am I doing? Oh, uh, there we go. I'll just put it right here for now. Bam. Okay, so let's turn this into stone, hammerhead, stone craft, hammerhead, stone craft, and then let's turn this into, oops, no, let's turn this to iron. Yep, and then turn this can we go diamond i don't know if we even go diamond what's above what are materials applicable for this schematic black stone so you go wait, wait you go wood stone iron black stone obsidian then netherite hmm this is deep slate do i have any black do i even have any black stone i think you get that from the nether right Okay, well, we'll just have to deal with the stone hammer for now. Oh, wait, no, the iron hammer for now. And, yeah, so now we can work on this. So, the hilt. I'm going to put a wrap on this hilt. Oh, I forgot you need... Uh, I'm, I'm relearning so much, guys. Forgive me for being an idiot. Uh, I need a small little sword. What kind of sword? Should I just go with... Oh, wait, no, actually... The smart thing to do would be just to make a wooden one. Yeah. And then toss that. Oops. And then toss that in there. And then turn it into a short blade with iron. Bam. Iron short blade. Let's go. 5.5 attack damage. 2 point speed. So you can, you can hit faster. It just sucks. Oh, that's cool. Looking at the top left of the map. I can see all of my progress underground. I can see there's lava lake somewhere over there. I wish I could look at that in the in the, uh, the big map, but yeah. Also, that lava lake might be useful in the future. Might be useful in the future if uh, we start automating some stuff. But uh, yeah, okay. What was that? Where was I at? Uh, sword, hilt, wrap. What else can we use? Hold up. Five. Wait. Details aren't available. Fiber skin fabric. Well, leather is a type of skin. So that will make the durability improve by 23. It'll make the damage improve by 0.7. And the speed by 0.1. All definitely worth it. Yep. Okay. 
Now, from here on out, I will have to put books on it to make it better, which will require some grinding, but will definitely be worth it. And then on top of the fact, I can just keep, you know, working on it. Uh, reinforced fuller. Bone metal wood. Okay. Oh, these are all the filter or uh, the fullers. Reinforced fuller. So this is obviously the best. Bone netherite. Okay. Maybe nether. Maybe that's not the. Oh, that's just under the different sections. Okay. Oh, that's cool. Hmm. It might change some stuff since the last time I did it. I don't know what this stuff is on the right either. Okay, well. Uh, let's see. What else can I change? Let's look at all the basic blade. Okay, these are all the blades I can use. Emerald blades, bone blades, diamond. I'm looking for what the best blade will probably be. You can be iron, gold, and netherite. Four improvements. Hmm. I always thought an obsidian blade would also be pretty good. Yeah, obsidian has six. Uh, I'm looking at the hammer right below, right, right there. It requires a level six hammer. Huh. Blackstone requires level three. Netherite. Hold up. Wait. Netherite requires level four. I don't even know what I have. What what uh what kind of emerald? What kind of what 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 what, what do I have? Huh? What is this? An iron hammer. It is level three. Okay. So we're, we're getting pretty close. Uh, let me. I guess might as well go ahead and wait. What? It requires level two. Oh, it, it, okay, no, it exceeds its, uh, its integrity. There you go, take some leather, get some more integrity. And then we can wrap this. I don't know what that really does, but we're going to do it anyways. Um, we can add binding, which would give it more integrity, just lower the durability. Huh. And the speed. But we can get that back eventually, though. Okay, I'm just going through and see what all this stuff is. Uh, another, thing you have to think, another, another thing you have to think about is, I'm pretty sure if you add these items, you might they might need them to repair them later. So, hmm. <laughs> I'm kind of looking at the integrity, like, did they change it all? Six? Looks like, it looks like dragon sinew. Dragon sinew? Dragon sinew? I don't know what that means. Looks like that might be the best. String adds two. Leather adds three. Yeah, might I have to go for a dragon. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what I want to do with that right now. Shovel, definitely I can add a wrap. Might as well. Yep. And same for everything else, pretty much. There you go. One thing I want to check out real quick, though, after I get done wrapping everything. Wait, what? Wrap handle. Yeah, leather. Oh, it doesn't have integrity. Okay, my bad. Uh, let's give it some more integrity, then. Hmm... Oh, okay, wait. I'm, I'm... Wrap handle? Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do. 
Now I can change what the handle was made out of, too, so. None of this looks like it's helping. I don't care about the damage of a pickaxe. The speed, I also don't care about. The durability, though. Uh, let's see what all we can use. Mmm, end rod. Okay, oh, I'm starting to remember things. This is what's exciting about uh, Tetra. So if you use a blaze handle on a tool, you will get a chance so that you'll catch on fire. But it adds a lot of integrity, which is super useful. If you use a end rod, it is, again, adds a lot of integrity. adds more, in fact. Uh, this beam from the handle. Yeah, if you use an end rod, it adds even more integrity, which you can add stuff to. Uh, but the problem is, if you come across a Enderman, you'll, like, throw up, pretty much. You'll, like, screen will go crazy. So, yeah, you pretty much just gotta figure out what you wanna do. The best, probably, for this situation... And this is the thing about, you're probably gonna end up making multiple different tools. For this, right here, for this diamond pickaxe... If I'm just gonna be going mining, not in the nether... The best thing for it will probably be end rod. But if I'm going to the end, not the nether, the end. Yeah, even the nether, because there's a there's a Enderman spawning in the nether now, which is pretty cool. I say now, like that, that might have been a thing from like two years ago. Uh, then you'll go like crazy. And even occasionally in the overworld, like you're not going to be able to AFK with it in your inventory because uh, an Enderman might teleport you to him or some shit like that. But uh, yeah, netherite, nine integrity, which probably should be good enough for me. That's probably what I'm going to go for on top of just netherite tools in general, I guess. Uh, which I kind of want to see. Can I do pickaxe head? What else can I do? <laughs> Excuse me. Hiccuped. Uh, yeah, so I can do netherite. See, diamond is considered a level five pickaxe, but netherite is considered level 7. So, that is cool. Also has more magic capacity, which I'm assuming is enchantments. Hmm. That is, that is interesting. That is interesting. Yeah, well, uh... Yeah, I, guys, I don't think I have much time or storage space to continue this recording, unfortunately, because I'm trying to record at the best quality for this crappy PC. But what I wanted to test out, I can hear that. I can hear that uh, waterfall already. Hopefully this doesn't mess with the audio too crazy. Oh, it's so loud. Oh, I fell. Okay, well, let's just get out of the range. Uh, what I wanted to test was... In order to upgrade this stuff without uh, adding things or without just your classic, uh, your classic, um, what am I trying to say? Enchantments. Uh, you can just use these items. As you can see at the very bottom, hone percentage, zero. Hone zero out of four, uh, 440. So what I wanted to see is if... Okay, so I just broke one, so that is hone seven out of 440. Now it should be eight, yeah. So I'm wondering if I shift, right click, it's now at 63, let's go. So I can now, uh, only with the trees, only with the ax, I can now uh, speed up the process. Couldn't do that with the, couldn't do that with the other items. So, yeah, uh, I'm just going to probably since I'll be able to do this even faster, I'm probably just going to grind out and get this uh, pick or axe honed real quick for you guys. So you can see what the process looks like. And then that actually might be the video for today. Let me head back out there and try this out. But yeah, this is really cool. This is really cool. It's going to eat away at the durability, but who cares? And then let me do one more over here. I wonder if I'll, if it'll uh, take
take down all these trees. Okay, well, it's settled. It's not honed yet. Alright, pick up all this stuff. Oh, did it oh, oh, it replanted itself. That's cool. Mm, we're getting so close. Is it going to replant itself again? Yes. And this should be it. Yeah, it's honed. All right, let me pick up all this stuff, or at least as much as I can. Thank you. Got wood for days now. All right, so now I'm going to head back. Going to walk past this noisy waterfall. Can you hear it? I can't hear it. There, oh, it just hits you like a wave. Like a, like a water wave. And then it disappears just like that. Cool. So let's head all the way up here. So I can hone it for you guys. Bam. Click on this. Now I can affect its damage, which we don't care about. Its chopping efficiency, which we definitely care about. Its durability, which we also definitely care about. Or its speed, which we don't care about. Uh, let's do chopping efficiency. That's all I care about. Uh, bam. And now it should be a little faster. Or wait, guys. Guys, I just realized I'm stupid. If I can, if I can just, hold up, I'm, I'm so stupid. I just realized I'm so stupid. If I can just instantly chop down trees, why would I care about how fast it chops down? I should be worried about durability. God, I'm so stupid. Ugh, can we buy in something real quick? Yeah, let's, let's give it some more integrity. There we go. I forgot to do this earlier. Oh, you, I forgot. You can also do, uh, you can also do hose. All right. So now as I, from now on, whenever I do the next episode for you guys, whenever I use these items right here, this is really what I wanted to do anyways for this episode. I, uh, configured all my items. So now that when I use them, they will be constantly working toward getting better. Whereas in vanilla Minecraft, you just use them. They break use them they break enchant them they break and then use them and then repair them which we're gonna have to repair in this one too but it's gonna be a little more fair and it'll just you know like i said passively get it be getting better but uh yeah there's the episode for today uh i still don't know whether i want to call this division craft probably go put this wood up i'm not gonna really need it right now yeah so this process has gotten a lot better a lot easier we're now going to be able to work on bigger and better projects with these mods I've added. And that was just one of the mods. I should just name this the Tetra mod section thing. I don't even remember what all I added. Oh, yeah. These are all the different enchanted books. Uh, this is just a resource pack. This isn't a mod. Uh, Create. Oh, we got to get into create. Some decorating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, nothing too crazy. Oh, watering cans. We are definitely gonna get into watering cans. But yeah, if you like this video, make sure and like, subscribe, do all those things every YouTuber always tells you to do. And I will see you guys next time.